Aquarius is going to be your July 2021 reading, early July, first half of July, and or when you come across this reading. Holler at your board for one-on-one -on -one reading. Website link below in the description box. Leave a comment, uh, questions, like, share, follow. It helps the channel. Uh, reach out, all things social media. All my info is on the website link below. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. Spirit of gratitude, joy, love, and light. Highest possible messages for Aquarius at this time. Let's see. We have the King of Pentacles in the upright. This is Aries Taurus energy. Um, number 14. Something could be coming up two weeks from now. Um, King of Pentacles. Financially, resourcefully, stable. Uh, settled, secure. Um, money is on point. Very strong, influential benefactor, financier, uh, something of this nature, Aquarius. What else wants to come out? Five of Swords in reverse. This is making amends, reconciliation, building bridges. This is your energy, Aquarius energy. In the upright, it's cutthroat, winning at all costs. In the reverse, this is actually establishing the line of communications, relations, healthy connections things of this nature. Also points to the four swords in the upright, resting after a time of battle. Uh, in the olden days, I guess, warriors would sleep on their coffin after battle, and they would reflect, they would meditate, um, and they would contemplate, they would use mindfulness and all that good stuff. Uh, so that could be what's being asked of you, Capricorn, as well. Ten of Cups in the upright, Pisces energy, world reality generating, creating uh, energy here. Pisces does that best. They go with the flow. Tens are about completions, happiness, harmony, building a bridge to happiness and harmony. This could be in relationship. Um, this is a peak. This is a pinnacle. This is a high watermark, Aquarius. Four cups in the upright. This is coming out of a time of um, being emotionally open and and uh, available. So actually, you could be closed off, or somebody could be being closed off to this Ten of Cups in the upright. Happiness is there, but someone's protecting their heart chakra, Aquarius, is with the Four of Cups. It's interesting because it's very opposed to the Ten of Cups. It's like a high water mark with the Ten of Cups, and then Four of Cups um, in the upright is, hey, look, I'm not having it. I'm protecting my heart. This individual's arms folded across their heart space. So. This is Cancerian season, so this could be where you're feeling like you're at for someone out there. Uh, again, general reading, not going to apply for everyone, but if you're picking up on some of my energies, then reach out for a person, and you like it, and you think that it's resonating, then reach out for a personal reading, or leave a comment, like, share, all that good stuff. Um, what else? Follow, subscribe. Um, three of wands in the upright this is an opportunity on the table for your ships to come in and or for you to set sail for new horizons golden background as a blessing or a gift from the universe uh could be coming or going okay uh, depends contextually on the person um so what does this all mean i mean you have a benefactor here who's wanting to build bridges to happiness and harmony but someone might not be receptive to this offer so be receptive to the offer. It's going to lead to harmony and happiness. But if you're not there, then you're not there. In which case, you got to work on your heart space, your heart chakra, heart and mind resonance. Point one hertz. Uh, YouTube that and uh, listen to that. Maybe that'll help. Or just meditate. Realize that you're not your blockages. You're not your conditioning. Can I get an amen? I know someone heard that. Um, your feelings or your thoughts, the unconscious ones, the triggering ones, they'll pop up, they'll burp up, but you just watch them pass like waves in, the, in an ocean or clouds in the sky. You are not them. You are the self-directive author, narrator of your life. You control the storyline. So what's the relation between, you know, what is this, an opportunity? I mean, I see two opportunities here. They could be the same one. Four cups in the upright. Three of Wands in the upright. There's a cup coming from the divine, an emotional cup of solace, okay, for emotional stability here that you could build and work upon to get to the Ten of Cups in the upright. So if you see that, then take it, okay. Especially if it's coming from this benefactor. Don't don't 
be stuck up and stingy, be open, you know, be smart and, and don't just open yourself up to anybody, but uh, you'll be guided, your heart will know, okay, let your heart do the, the walking and the talking, don't let your mind get in the way, um, anything else for you, Aquarius, moving forward with someone, five of pentacles in the upright, Two of Swords in the Upright, Crossroads Decision. Bonus round, what's the Crossroads Decision? Stuck from making a leap of faith with the full card in the reverse, not starting something new, and or Ten of Pentacles in the Upright. So this is establishing something permanent with someone or something, but it's almost as if both are the same decision. I mean, if you're gonna be single or solo with the full card in reverse, you're not going to jump into something new. Is that what it's saying? Feel free to apply it contextually. Or, two of swords, crossroads decision, either. Or, um, ten of pentacles in the upright. Long-lasting uh, stability here. Oh, sorry. Camera's flipped. Um, you know, that usually requires a significant other. You got the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups here, Aquarius. So those are the second and third best cards in the deck. I would say the sun card is the best card in the deck. Um... In any event, one hand decision is stuck, not taking the leap of faith. Or the other hand decision, I guess, is continuing with this person, and maybe in and of itself, that's a leap of faith. Uh, but ultimately, it's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. So don't miss this opportunity, Aquarius. All right? Is what, is what this is saying. Uh, this was a little bit easier to read, uh, easier established narrative here than Capricorn's. Uh, energy in the reading before, uh, but you know, can't can't dog the signs. I got to dog the reader, which is me. So, but who knows? Everything happens for a reason, guys. If you want a one-on-one -on -one reading, holler at your boy. Um, use the Acorns link. Use the Robin Hood link in the description box below as well. You get a kickback. I get a kickback. We all get a kickback, and we can save and invest and grow a bright, awesome fucking future together. Uh, sorry for cussing. All right, guys. Love you lots. On to Pisces. Last reading. Thank God. All right. Peace.